all I want. I just want to expand the wind mass. Alright. Right back in the most deep gym. About to take on these terrible twins. Luckily I have dark types, so we should be fine. Here we go. <laughs> Were you surprised? <laughs> Were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders? We are twins. We don't need to talk because we can each determine what the other is thinking. All in our minds. This combination of ours. Can you beat it? What creepy little twins. We must stop their reign of terror on Moss Deep. Ladle and Zatu? This isn't familiar. I only remember a Lunatone and a Soul Rock. No problem. He will faint attack the Zatu right away. Faint attack and to crunch it. Level 41. That's pretty strong. Holy shit, it knows Earthquake. Wow. That's gonna hurt Sinfin. Yeah. No wonder it used that. It doesn't affect Zatu. Damn it. I did not expect Earthquake. Jeez. Okay. I'll have to bring the Helican in to deal with this one. Um, you just finished the Zatu. Senfen, you retreat. Crunch and retreat. Try to choose strategy. Crunch and retreat always works. That's not going to do to him. That's not going to do too much to us now. Elkin is loading above it. I'm going to let I'm going to let that clay doll keep earthquaking if it wants. It's going to get surfed though. What's a sunny day going to do? Sunlight won't save you. Surf didn't do very much. I'm a little disappointed. Why is that clay doll so damn strong? Well, just keep attacking. Actually, I don't want to swagger on the clay doll, then its earthquake would really hurt. Um, go ahead and go ahead and bullet seed it. See what that does. And then a surf. Ah, using up your hyper potions, are you? That's it. Keep trying to keep your Zatu alive. Little do they know, Booger has hyper potions too. I'll use one if I need to. Critical. Very nice.
All right, that's... The earthquakes are starting to take a toll on Cedar Stack. So I will go ahead and heal it, because it's doing so well, taking those attacks. That hurt a lot. Come on, Helican, at least help us take down this damn clay doll. Um, what do I want to do? Actually, I think I'm going to use Sedistic's turn to heal Heligan now. Why not? You, you know, they use two Hyper Potions if we can, too. Why not? Those damn Psychic attacks are strong. At least we took that one down. Ooh, and a critical hit on you. Is that two? Wow, a special attack plus four, that's awesome. Sedistic is really getting strong. There's the Lunatone. I would like Helican to be able to surf. At least one more time. Maybe I'll stop hyper potioning it. Um, let's try. Let's try taking down that Zatu if we can. Oh shit! You fought valiantly, Elegant. Let's. Sinfin might be able to have one last crunch. Let's let it do that before we resort to Wactus. Crunch, crunch that Zatu before it does anything else. The sunlight has faded and so has all of your hope. Now the darkness will take you. What the fuck? A third hyper potion? How do they have three hyper potions? Is that it? Do they have a fourth one? Do each of them have two? Because they're twins. So they have four total. I think it's typical for gym leaders to only have like two hyper potions. Oh no. See, Dystic does have the ability Early Bird, so that should make the sleep not last as long. Let's see if it wakes up super fast. Sinfin can get another crunch out at least. Heh <laughs> heh. Sinfin's revenge. It'll take someone else down before it goes. And now the Soul Rock. They still have something else. Where's this at? I think this is it. Um, if you do wake up, bullet seed, bullet seed, the soul rock. Ow, Crunch isn't too bad for being level 34. There, it woke up. These are Rock Psychics, so... Grass and Dirk. Those are good tapes to be using on them. Look at that bullet seed. Wow! Five times? Took it down! Look at that! Seed Estic, I'm so proud of you.
I love you, seed stick. I love your bullet seed attacks, which are becoming more and more brutal as you become a more seasoned soldier. Wactus may not even need need to be called on. This is their last Pokemon. This gym battle is going pretty smoothly, as we expected it to. I think victory is just pretty much assured already. There we go. Look at that. Sinfin got a critical crunch. It hurt me when I was talking about it, you know, getting just one last crunch in, and it took that personally. It said, I'll show you. I'll crunch their whole damn team. And it did. would not be defeated. What? Our combination was shattered. It can't be helped. You've won. So in recognition, take this. Badge enhances the special attack and special defense of Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move dive outside of battle. You should also take this too. That TMO4 contains Calm Mind. It raises special attack, and it raises special defense. It's a move that's perfect for psychic Pokemon. You creepy little shits, I need to get far away from you. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond that we share as twins. You will become even stronger. We've battled you, so we know. I don't want to know what else you know. I'm out of here. Goodbye. That's right. A certified booger. Good. Seven badges. Look at that. Seven badges and a lot of money. A lot of riches, a lot of winnings. Ah, are my Pokemon like... They need a heal, don't they? Yeah. They performed quite well in that battle, though. I'm proud of them. So this means, at this point, there's only one gym left. And I know that it's a water gym. They specialize in the water type. So we should have a good time there. Since Booger has two grass types. Has anything anything changed in town? Steven home. No. Oh well. In that case, I may just have... Oh. What's this? That was Maxi! Looks like Maxi's finally going to steal the rocket fuel. They didn't do a good job of keeping this plan secret. Everybody's heard about it. Steven, like, spread the word. Did you see anything, old man? Well, this is something I've never seen. I did not see any such thing as this in Sapphire. Let's see what the hell our, uh, Maxi is up to. I'm assuming he's here. Ah. Look at this standoff. Ooh. 
Ooh. This person is taking sides. Wants one of the nature cults to destroy the other. What? That's a weird dream. I don't know what... He's being very vague with what his dream is. I guess he's referring to a rocket launch. That sounded a little, uh... Like, it could be anything, though. Or other things. Well, let's take him down. No, nothing sneaky, you're just stealing rocket fuel. That's totally normal, right? Yeah, they were not very sneaky. They just, it seems like they just literally marched right up to the space center. They came right up to the space center and just marched right in. And now they're just, they're even explaining to me. I walked in the front door and they're explaining, we've come to steal rocket fuel. They're not too smart. They're basically just making it very easy to link them to their crimes. Like they're going out of their way to make it very easy. Luciana? Deep sea just again. I should probably give some other Pokemon a chance, but it does so well, you know. It's hard enough to let C just like, destroy everything. You want to be killed by Wactus. Your... Your choice. What? Come on. Aim your pin missile better, Wactus. Here we go. I'm wondering how Team Magma even got here. Because they clearly weren't on this island earlier in the game. Maxi was elsewhere. How'd he get here? They don't... They don't control the seas. They're not about the sea, so they don't have, a, like, a boat. They didn't steal a submarine. How'd they get here? Maybe they were, like... I don't know. Maybe they washed ashore. Last we heard of Maxi, he was searching for Groudon. Who knows? where that led him. Maybe they were shipwrecked at sea on a journey to find Groudon. Now they're begging for fuel. Pathetic. As usual, they don't know what they're doing. Just like Team Aqua members, they don't know what they're doing ever. Let's let's put Sinfin out. Are you an admin? No, not even an admin. Just a really insolent grunt. Thinks they can block the stairway. They have a mighty Anna though. Screech at you. Take that. Ever been screeched at by a shark? 
I have a hard time imagining what a screech from a shark would sound like. Wow, that screech helped. One slash, not even critical. This time I'll switch though. Let's use pin missile. Ten levels higher. This grunt is in our, our league. Bring out your admins. Skip to the admins right away. These grunts can't hold us back. I've never understood the point of Odor Sleuth. Seems like it's just a waste of a move. Oh, it's a critical hit. So concerned. Bye. I'll admit your two mighty enemies were kind of impressive compared to what the others had. Anything else? Wow, now Wactus got plus four special attack. My grass types are getting serious. A new mole. Just, um. Let's see, just take care of it. I wonder if we're going to fight Maxi again. I'm very curious. I want to know what he's trying to do with rocket fuel. Oh damn it, you burnt Sea Dustek. You little hell, you little hell numal. He did better than the rest. And two mighty Anna and the burnt sea dust deck. That's right, move aside. More signs of Team Magma members wanting to save face with the upper management. I'm noticing this. I noticed it in the Magma hideout. Complaining about bad working conditions. Trying to make it look like they were busy when they were, you know, already defeated. Do I have something? Yeah. Burn heal. There we go. Just good to have just the right type of heal. What the? An ambush at the top of the stairs. Yes. We're not afraid. Bring it on. None of them are even double battles. Just three one-on-ones. The others didn't stop us, neither will you. That's too bad. Just go ahead and crunch it. Crunchable bets. My man, it's good to have a Sharpedo. You can just crunch so many things in one one bite. Next. Well, we're already one third relieved. You have only one two. Sharpedo isn't actually intimidated, it's just trying to give you a false sense of security. So, what is that? Are you smelling a Sharpedo? Are you smelling Sinfen? Is that what that was? A roar! 
So you, you took one whiff of Sharpedo and then you roared in terror, pleading for someone else to come out. Because you didn't want to be a victim of Sharp the Sharpedo. As you wish. What was his plan, Odor Sleuth and Roar? What kind of person dedicates half their moveset to those moves? Next. Nope, we're good. Next. Wanna keep it going. <sighs> Honestly, the three Pokemon each of them had, they could have all been owned by one trainer. That's how pathetic they are. Bye. Ball toy, more like bite toy. It's a Sinfin's chew toy, that's what that is. At least he realizes how pathetic they look. Well, that one's got serious self doubt. I think I broke the spirits of at least two of them there. Oh, it's Steven! Look at that! Steven's still here. I guess he was standing guard. I don't see Maxi anywhere. Do they want to go into space? That's crazy if so. I thought they just wanted... I thought they, they just had land-based ambitions. Like, wouldn't that be a Team Plasma thing in the Gen 4 games? It's Maxi. He was here. He just he just blended in all the red hoods and he has red hair. It was hard to say, hard to tell. You're out of the way. Don't you dare interfere. Oh boy. Maxi and Steven, what a clash. Team Magma. What's the point of stealing rocket fuel? <laughs> Since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We are going to zettison the entire world in Dermot Simni. With Gordon gone, we have no need for that swell heap of a mountain. So we'll use the fuse power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage! Wow, did he just push Steven? Booger, you're going to help me? Let's go into battle together. Are you ready? We're ready. What the hell? Well, see, this stick has to go. This is unusual. Why am I choosing like a battle order? I'm just gonna make a line up here. Oh, only three. Interesting. Interesting. I think. I think these ones are good choices. See, just stick Synthin and Helican. That's a good combo. What is going on? Is this a double battle? Oh, it is! Look at that! We're joining Steven in a double battle! Look at his Pokémon! Steel-types! Cool! We're up against Maxi and an admin. Maybe I should have started with, um... Pelican. Pelican has the ability to wash away camera, so, um... I'm gonna go ahead and make that change right away and just do that.
Metang. What an interesting and rare Pokemon. Ooh. Thank you for the force field. Oh, that won't save you, Camerot. This will be interesting to see if it survives a surf after that. Let's find out if it's little amnesia. Out. We'll save it from this wave. Oh, I did save it. And it's putting a reflect up for us. Thank you, Steven. Targeting Mahilikan, are you? They would. Of course, they're afraid of Helican more. Helican's level 40, but they still target it because they they know to fear it. Two Radiana. Jeez. Good thing Surf doesn't use attack. Keep surfing them. What else do they have? Another camera off. Holy shit. Was the other one the admins? Damn. Two camera up and two mighty Anna on their side. Well, that Matang's doing pretty good. Or Metang, however you pronounce it, however you stress the syllables. Amnesia again, that's annoying. Can they attack? Like, why don't your camera ups do anything other than get cases of amnesia? They still have, like, one more? Two more? Finch. Earthquake? Huh. It is a ground type. And it's pretty high level, so I guess it's not surprising it learned that. Still not too concerned. Not yet, at least. Took down Steven's first Pokemon. Ooh, it's his egg run. Look at that monster. There we go. Swept away a pair of camera ups. Giant waves. They just can't swim. They just can't swim. <laughs> Very susceptible to waves. Oh, and it's Maxi's Crobat, too. Look at this. Crobat and a Golbat out together. Rarely do you come up with a pair of bats. Like, rarely do you come up against a pair of bats this strong. At the same time. Look at that. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're okay here. Edistic would be very vulnerable to either of them. Oof. Ouch. Oh, you missed with thunder? What's wrong with you, Steven? I wonder if I can finish it with Crunch. That go about... I'm guessing not. I think Sinfin might be going down. 
Um, I do have revives. It's just a little bit tense. It's just a little bit tense. These these bats have me a little worried. Uh, I think I want to just use this turn to crunch that that go bat. Go ahead and do that. Oh shit! It was fast. The crowbat was fast. I underestimated how fast it was. Damn. Okay, see, just it's gonna get, unfortunately, destroyed. So I have to heal. I have to revive. It's over. Oh my. Holy shit. I don't believe it. A loss. So if you if you lose in a double battle, if one trainer loses in a double battle, it's a loss for both. <sighs> wow, second loss of the game right there. Well, third if you consider I lost twice to, you know, probably. Amazing. I did not I did not handle that battle well. Wow. Well. I kind of underestimated that battle. Did I just lose a ton of money? I did. I still have a hundred thousand though. Well. I'm gonna have to take that battle a lot seriously. A lot more seriously. Do I have enough healing items? We're good. We got hyper potions. I can't, I can't believe it. I didn't expect. I didn't expect that to happen. Maxi's Crobat just. Well, both of them destroyed my Pokemon with wing attacks. They just targeted my Pokemon like they knew the battle would be over if they killed all three of mine. I don't think that's really fair, but. Maybe it's also not fair to rely on Steven's Pokemon to be the only survivors. What will I do? Well, I'm going to start with Helican this time. And I think I'm going to leave all grass types out and go Helican, Bake Snake, Synthin. Let's try again. I can't believe they're using rocket fuel to make a volcano erupt. That sounds truly demented. Okay. Helican. Sinfin. Big Snake. No grass types because of their bats. There's also a bad break or two in that battle. Like, Steven was going to use Thunder. His Aggron was going to use Thunder on one of those bats, and it missed. Nice going, Steven. Okay, hopefully this goes better. At least we can start with a Surf without having to sacrifice a turn. Switch Helican in. Critical hit. There we go. And your camera up has no chance. I have a feeling we'll do better this time. Helican's a good good one to have out now. It does not care about attack being lowered. As long as it's just gonna surf. Steven's doing the same defense routine. It's 
icebreaker is annoying. In a six on six double battle. Pretty intense. Lots of strong Pokemon in this battle too. On both sides. Oh shit. I would rather that didn't happen. Damn it. I can't let Helkin go down. It's got to at least take out this camera up and hopefully more than that. Do I have any super potions? That'd be a good thing to do right now. Very nice. Okay. You're one of the bats. Can't underestimate Golbat and Crobat. They are they hit pretty hard with their flying moves. Since they are flying tapes. They also have a decent amount of HP. Oh man, targeting Helican. There's the earthquake. Good. Now out's gonna come a very strong crowbat, right? The last, last two Pokemon they have. Maxi's crowbat is like no joke. Um. Uh. I'm gonna keep healing Helican and. Try to extend its life in this battle. Uh oh. You're preventing it from switching. A new psychic, huh? Oh, it's good to use on a well bat. I wonder if Helican's still confused. Metang got to stick around and use Psychic on them this time. That helped. Was that just a freak accident that we lost to them before? Well, who knows. We prevailed, though. All I want, I just want to expand the wind mass. We get it, Maxi. But it's kind of a childish goal, and you should probably give up on it. We failed to make the volcano erupt. We failed to control Groudon after we had a work in it. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? If... If we, Team Magma, are wrong, then my team Aqua's grow to expand the sea or so be equally misguided. Alright, we will give up on the fear. There appear to be more important matters that I must take to examine. Sure, sure, Maxi. Ooh, that was too tense! Booger, thank you. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. 
please come see me at home after this. Oh yes, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here on this island. We know, Steven. We know your lair is here. Oh boy. Damn it, get out of my way, you stupid fucking scientist. Don't you know how to... Don't you know how to fucking stay out of people's way? That pisses me off so much in Pokemon games. When you're walking somewhere and someone walks right into your path. Like, what the fuck? You're trying to get hit? You're trying to cause collisions. Pedestrian collisions. Okay, enough of this place. Let's go see what Steven wants. I didn't lose Pokemon, did I? Nah, we're good. Oh, I forget. That's not Steven's house. This is Steven's house. Booger, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. This is my token of appreciation. It's the hidden machine dive. No need to be shy. You've earned this HM. While you're using Surf, you should notice dark patches of water. Use Dive if you come to deep water like it. You'll drop to the sea floor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again. And some places it won't be possible for you to surface, though. That's what you leave me with? In some places it won't be possible to surface? And why? Why is that, Steven? Maybe I don't want to know. Apparently, there's an underwater cavern between Mustip and Sutopolis. You know, the one that Captain Stern found in his submarine. Uh, we know, Steven. Thank you for the HM. We still find you creepy. Well, I believe the seventh badge I just got entitles me to the right to dive. It's basically, the badge is also a diving license. Like, it's a legal diving license as well as a Pokemon badge, the Mastiff Gym badge. <laughs> Wait a minute, were there not? I thought there was only one of this guy here. There, there are two of them? Nah. Well. I have just the Pokemon to learn dive. And this will grant us... Like almost totally full capability to explore anywhere in the sea we want. The only thing we won't be able to do is climb up waterfalls. We won't be able to do that extreme stunt yet. I am going to have Sinfin be my submarine. And I'll get rid of Screech. Probably also gonna have to learn Waterfall later. Whenever we get that. Alrighty. A strong submarine shark. Very good. Quite a capable Pokemon team I've built. Now, I believe I'm done up here. 
You should go south and explore the seas more. <sighs> what the fuck? Who is that? Oh no, it's Brendan. Hey, bugger. I was in Pacific Lock Town just now. I saw this huge Pokemon, this huge green Pokemon flying across the sky. I've never seen anything like that amazing before. I wish you could have seen it, booger. <sighs> that phone call reminded me actually of something. Earlier in the game I wanted to prank call uh, someone a registered trainer in my Pokenav, but I never could because I was in a location where I didn't have service when I thought of it. And look at all these contacts. I kind of wanted to call Cool Trainer Wilton and prank call him. Because he's at the top student. Let's prank call him. Cool Trainer Wilton, this is the Marvel Police. We have evidence that you've been smoking Cacnea in the desert north of Marvel, and we'd like to, uh, to come in uh, for questioning about that. Please come in for questioning, or we'll track you down. <laughs> He's grown jaded with this whole Cool Trainer thing. goes with being a cool trainer. What a narcissist. He thinks he's so special, because he has a title like that. Oh, well, I'm not confiding in you, Wilton. I'm mocking it. I'm mocking you. I'm scoffing at you. Maybe I should call someone with a envelope next to their name. Some guy in Jagged Pass. Let's see what he has to say. Huh. I wonder what the envelope means. Does that mean they'll bite me again? Um... Just a second. Where's this guy? We're at 118. I just want to check if I can find one of these guys and challenge them to a rematch or something. This won't take long to check. There's a guitarist on Route 118. I can set sail south of... south of... Um, Mosh Deep. A little later. Is it you? It's him! He does want to have a rematch. Cool! So Emerald Version has a rematch system just like the Gen 2 Pokemon games originally had. That's awesome. Are his Pokemon going to be stronger? I don't remember what level they were before, but... 25? I'm not sure if that's higher. I'm not sure if that's higher than they were before. That's cool though. I'm really stoked to find out that you can rematch trainers in this game. So getting them all on your Pokenav isn't just pointless. It's not it's its only function isn't just to irritate you with random calls you get from weirdos. actually have more battles. It seems like you have to initiate them. It doesn't seem like they call you up asking you for a battle. At least that hasn't happened yet. It seems you initiate them after you, there's an envelope next to their name in your Pokenav and that's how you know they're ready.
I don't need to go through my Pokonath contacts exhaustively right now and defeat a bunch of people I already defeated again. I can do that later. I just wanted to try it with one. I relate to this guy. I'm an, I'm an electric guitarist. He gets that it, music is about emotion. Fly back to Mashti. And then it's south. South into the seas. Unknown seas. And my Pokemon. Might as well heal him a little bit. Maxi at the space center place was a little more challenge than I thought, but this was overall successful. An overall successful day at Moss Deep. Before I explore the seas to the south, though, I'm just going to save and um, take a break and leave that for the next episode. <laughs>